Hello and welcome back to Crime and Justice. Yes, this is a late one or an early one, so the way you look at it. Because it's 4.30 here in the UK in the morning. And no, I haven't been to bed yet. My body won't shut down. And I'm glad I haven't because some news has come out. I'm Elijah Vu. Possibly. Possibly. It's not yet been confirmed. Two Rivers, Wisconsin. Police in Two Rivers believe that a cold case, now like class, this is a cold case revolving around a missing child may be coming to a green end following a possible break in the case over the weekend. According to sources who spoke to radio talk ho show host Dan O'Donnell, two rivers investigated located locate the remains of a small child in the remote area of a Girl Scout camp, Manito, two rivers on Saturday, which early did Indications point to belonging to missing four-year-old Elijah Vu. Early indicators, it has not been confirmed. Who has been missing since February 27th? The report further states that a diaper was found with the school and other remains which are confirmed to be human. And authorities are continuing to work towards positively identifying the remains. The camp is located near the home of Boo's mother, Katrina Barr, and her boyfriend, Jesse Vang, who was last seen to see Boo alive. Both Barra, Barra and Vang are facing char charges of child neglect and deny that they had anything to do with Boo's disappearance, claiming that he wanted off on his own. Now, we all, no one believed that story. I'm sorry. No, I, if anyone believed that story, I think I need to go to the uh, a, a head doctor. Run. Barry requested their bail to be dropped from $15,000 to 5000 which was denied, thank God, by the Manitoba County Judge, who started during the hearing. I don't think 5000 is a sufficient amount, given the nature of what's being alleged here, and what the court knows from the complaint, to keep someone appearing for court when they are supposed to. Boo's father, Jimmy Boo, spoke during Barry's bond hearing and asked the judge to deny her request. And I'd like to, you to ask you to deny bail based on the fact that my son is still missing. We need answers, and I think Katrina Barrett has the answer. Barrett is scheduled to be back in court on October 22nd. Two Rivers Police Department Chief Ben Minha Mingo had quickly discredited online rumours back in June and hinted that officials had found food. Saying in a statement on Facebook, recently rumours surfaced on social media platforms stating Elijah had been found. This is not true. The spreading of false and misleading information is disrespectful for the family of Elijah and detracts our efforts in locating him. In recent months, investigators have a $40,000 reward for leading to the discovery of Boo, thanks to additional monies that was obtained through donations. The FBI also offered to contribute $15,000, while crime traffic offered to contribute another $10,000 to the reward. So, That is what we know so far. It has not been confirmed it's Elijah. In a way, I, I know this is going to sound bad. I really do. But in a way, I hope it is. Because at least then, if this is little Elijah, look at this picture on the screen. Look at that little boy. If this is Elijah, at least the family can bury him in a resting place, you know what I mean?
his head, his whole life ahead of him. Now I'm going to show you on the map where he was found. Get me up here for me. Get me down in the corner. Right, so here's the map of where he's found. Here. Camp Manito. Right next to Shoto, where they'd been searching. They had, from reports we've heard, they did search this land twice. But it's so look at the size of it, you know what I mean? All this land and they've searched it twice and they never found anything. It's so big and it says the remains were found in a desolate area. Right, an area where it wasn't a lot of people would go. Right? But we're going to see how far. Right. Two two. Oh, what was the address now? I've just pushed that in. Right. Right. So. It's look at this, and that's starting from the bottom here, from the bottom two rivers, and we all know he went missing from where was it now? I find a cemetery. I find yeah. Missy Cock Road, we all know he went missing. I think we'll go down now. I'll get you there. Right, we'll I've gone past it. I think I've gone past it. Three nine hundred, doesn't he? Three nine hundred. This is cut my leg. Oh, what am I doing? No, three nine hundred. Even less, five minutes in a car. Five minutes in a car from where he was last seen. Yeah. 
This is where Elijah Vu spent his last what week tortuous week where he was made to stand in the corner between one to three hours right saying i'm sorry mommy or learning his prayers not having his diaper changed for a whole day and if he overfilled his diaper then he's that jesse vang oh what would he do throw him in the shower a cold shower what was his punishment if he didn't obey jesse vang do you want to have a cold shower I swear to God, I heard they throw the fucking books at them two. That boy went through hell the last week of his life. He done nothing, nothing. But his mum wanted him to be a man. A man who's three, his fourth birthday, they've just celebrated his fourth fucking birthday. And she wanted him to be a man and sent him there to this vile piece of SHIT. He had one toy in that house, one fucking toy. And he wasn't even allowed to play with that. Why? Because he was in timeout most of the time. I bet he was in timeout 24 7. His poor little legs must have been killing him. Not having his nappy chains, he'd have nappy rash. Oh my lord, the pain that little boy would have been in. The pain he would have been in. And was he being fed properly? We don't know. We've only got uh, Jesse Bang's word on that. Oh, he used to have, he gave him cereal in the morning, no milk. We don't know if that's true or not, though. No, we don't know. And now, and now, she is also getting permission. She's been given permission to see her daughter, who she's got child neglect charges on. See her daughter in um, supervised visits. That piece of. Oh, I can't even think of a word for her. She's a, she's not even a mother. I'm so mad because if this is Elijah Vu, and I really do believe it is, because whatever children, whatever young child has been put down as missing in so close to where he went missing, so. Fucking close to where he went missing. Right. Look. You go up here, along here. We've gone through these maps. <coughs> I've gone through all these maps with you. I've gone over all this area on the maps. Right along here. Now look. I'm going to go down to this point here. Because this, I believe, is where the bridge is. Okay, I'm not closing it properly. I believe this is where the bridge is that we went across on the map, right? Yes, there's the bridge. I'm sure that's the bridge of that. Yes, it is. Here's the bridge. The bridge. They did a search around here. They did a search all down here. And where was he found? Oh, let's go back up here. The bones, the remains of a small child were found. All right, let's go. 
Okay, after max now, so if I come the wrong way, it's not letting me go up there. Right, it's not letting me go up there, okay? So we'll just do it this way. Right? He was found. There's a bridge. There's a bridge. Don't, there's a bridge. Well, I searched all this water away, this water away. Everything. Even the man who lives around here kept searching this area. We're searching this area. And all this here. Right. And where was he found? Just there, this place here, literally on there, fucking duck. It makes me so, I'm so angry right now, so, so angry. I've never been so angry in all my life. Which took him over seven, well, he went missing February 20th, so... February 20th, March, 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 April, April to May, May to June, June to July, March to August. Six, over six months. Over six months. I, in a way, I hope it is in. I really do hope this is that little boy. Just so the family can have some... Like uh, some, I don't know what the word is I can use. I've got, I've got, I know what the words I want to use about her, the mother, and about him, that piece of SHIT. I've got plenty of words for them. Now, we, if it is, if it is confirmed as Elijah Boo. Right, will they be able to find a cause of death? Because if it's skeletal, skeletal, it's going to be hard because there's going to be no bruises. You won't be able to see whether there's bruises on. They have got that one photo of him that Katrina Barrett was so kind of her to take this photo and then delete it, where she took a photo of him lying on the bed, blindfolded, bruises on his face and arm. He was three years old when she took that photo. Three years old. I swear to God, I hope they throw their fucking book at them too. And I hope they get everything they've got coming to them in prison. I really do. I was going to be uh, going live when they went to court, and I still will be. I followed this case from day one because as soon as I heard about this case come up on the news, I went, Hold on, last time we seen him was 8 a.m. in the morning, but he didn't report until 11 a.m. How can you not hear a three year old for 8 to 9 I think, like two to three hours? Three year olds are very noisy in the morning. You have they want this, want that, they want to get breakfast, they want to drink, they need the nappy chase, they need a wash, they need this, they need that. You do not get five minutes. I know, I've got a three-year-old granddaughter. I don't get five minutes peace when, I've, when I have her on the weekend. I really don't. I tell her, the only time I get any peace is when she's eating her breakfast. And that's if she eats her breakfast. But... This child didn't deserve this. If this is Elijah Blue, and I truly believe it is, because of how close, how close it is to where they lived. And I actually think this is 
the way the road she would take to go to her house. I think this was the route she would have took to take to her house, I'm not sure. Right. As I said, this is just me popping on because this is just so so sad. But what do you ex what do we what did we really expect after what six months or so? What did we expect? It has not yet been confirmed it is Elijah. I will state again, it has not yet been confirmed. It's only just it's just by pure chance I could not sleep and I was doing some transcript work and I've got the TV on in the background and I heard something about Elijahville. I know I came man and I've just seen a YouTuber come up about Elijahville. What? Those fans, what? What? So I've sat and listened to what it, they had to say and then but right, I'm going live. I weren't sure whether to do just a video or just go live. I'm, I had, I, I just, I'm just so heartbroken for that little boy. He didn't deserve this. This is him, and I really do believe it is. But I'm not, that's just my opinion. We'll find out more, I'll find out more tomorrow. Because as I said, this was a hard case for me to follow. Because of the time difference. And any information normally coming on this case, I was normally in bed. So I was finding out 10, 15 hours later. And it's just by pure chance I was up and I had my YouTube channel on, on TV. So. Oh, no, I'm just so mad. I hope that's where the book. I really do. That little boy didn't deserve that. He did not deserve none of what has happened to him. None of it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And now I'm not going to get to sleep, am I? Because I'm too hyped up. Doesn't matter how many cups of hot chocolate, milky hot chocolate I drink, I'm not going to get to sleep tonight now. Oh, shit, my mic. I hope you've been hearing this. I'm going to just plug my other mic in so you can hear better. I hope you can hear me better now because. Before I was using the mic off the laptop, so I'm hoping you can hear me better now. But yes, reports are remains have been found. Right, which early indications point to belong. Right. I'll read what it says here. According to sources, they spoke to radio talk show host Dan O'Donnell, two rivers investigators, located the remains of a small child in a remote area of a Girl Scout camp, Manito, two rivers on Saturday, which early indications point to belonging to missing four-year-old Elijah Vu, who has been missing since February the 20th. The report further stated that a diaper was found with the school and other remains, which were confirmed to be human and authorities are continuing to work towards positively identifying the remains. The camp is located near the home of Vu's mother, Katrina Barra, and her boyfriend, Jesse Van, who was last to see Vu alive. Right? He was found. He was found here. Yeah, somewhere in here. 
So they've gone up that road. They could have gone up here and gone into Paul Davis somewhere and got rid of his body. Even gone to the end here. I don't think the maps would let me go down that way. No. No. I'm not going to let me go down that road. Didn't think it would. But I can try and get as close to it as possible. Yeah. Look. There's, I should imagine that's a Girl Scout hook. I don't know, but this is the Girl Scouts. So, yeah, I could get sick in my... I think that would be the Girl Scout hook. Because you can either get that way or that way goes up here. So it's two ways in. Right, so yeah, I think that's a scout hut. And is there a building there? But look how, how dense. That is. And they have searched this twice. Come on. They could have been anywhere over here. Right, it was, you know, it says. Uh. The camp is located in right. remote area, remote area. So that could be over here, over here, over here. If that is their land as well, it could be any, it could be anywhere, a remote area. It looks like their land, doesn't it? Because look. Right. Let's go round a bit. That looks like, like the camp places they sleep, you know what I mean? Right, there's one there, one there. So this does look like all their land here. But yeah, just go from there, down to here. You can go over that way, which will take you down. Oh, this is the quickest way, right along BV, right along, right along, to here, and down. Here. Where we lived for a week with pain and torture. Just, I don't even want to think. No, no, this is just so sad. So, so sad. If this is Elijah View, this is so, so sad. I'm keeping an eye out on. News updates. Right, I'm keeping an eye out on any more news updates on him.
It won't be long that it, the remains are confirmed one way or the other. Here's the family. When I did a press release with the press. We plead with you to please come forward with your courage, your compassion, your willingness to speak up. May hold the key to the lightness safe return. Every piece of information will bring will help bring us one step closer to bring Elijah back back to our family where he belongs. To those who may have information, your assistance is just not a contribution, but a lifeline of hope. I want everybody to uh, continue to hold us, to look for my grandson. I want my grandson to be at home with my family. So I want everybody to continue. Don't stop. Just search for my baby Elisha. We want him to be safe and with my family and we love my grandson. That was so sad when I first seen that. When I first saw that, that was so sad. And I've got nothing but high praise for that. Uh, chief, chief of police of Two Rivers because he didn't give up on this child not like some police we know police forces we know he hasn't given up on this child you know what I mean it's just so so sad uh, let's see what else we've got Uh, if there's anything else, I don't know. It says here, there was one toy in the residence which was given to the child at Christmas time. One fucking toy. One toy because you're too busy spending your money on whatever you could shove up your fucking nose I suppose or into your veins oh I hate them sorry the three year old mother Katrina Barra 31 had sent the boy to stay with Mr Bang on 12th of February so he could learn to be a man He was then reported missing eight days later. I say he was reported missing on the 20th. On the 19th, they used someone's car, a friend's car, who came forward and told the police, look, they used my car between, I think, so many hours. The day before he was reported missing for so many hours. But this car was so was an older car, so it didn't have the tracking system in. So the police had the car in their custody in right? But they had no no idea where the car had been. So they was asking for people to check their ring doorbells, to check their home security videos, if they've got anything. If, did they see this car in the area? You know what I mean? Because that is when these two pieces of SHIT right on your screen is when they removed and hid his body. Right? That's when they done it.
so when he died, I like to say, I wouldn't like to say when he died, but he was definitely dead, I'd say, on the 19th. So, this is so shame, such a shame. This was a beautiful boy. Beautiful. Three-year-old. He didn't deserve none of that. None of what he put him through in eight days. Eight fucking days. He took, he tortured this little boy. Perhaps his body just gave up in the end. We don't know. His body could have just gave up. What with the old beating here and whatever. Not being fed properly, properly. Not having his bum changed. He could have caught an infection. You know what I mean? Anything could have happened. But either way, they hid his body. I don't care what anyone says. They hid his body. That was just too close. Too darn close. Right, so we'll go there to there. That's where his body was found in some isolated area in this camp area in Mountain. Right. So, and, right, directions, hang on, Can't think of the name of the road name. What was the name of that road? Missy Cuff. Look on your screen. Township. Six minutes. Six minutes in a car. They was gone for about two hours. Right? But from where he lived, with that little boy, where we had that little boy there for eight days, to where they found, to the area, not to where they found, but to the area, six minutes drive. Right, so there's six minutes drive back, there's traveling. She's still got two hours. Because it was over two hours, I think they had the car. Take the car back to where whoever, wherever. I may have even got that guy to drop him home. Camp Manito. Six minutes drive, four miles. Christ, you could walk four miles. I used to walk three miles, just walk every most days. Not because I didn't have the bus fare, because we used to meet up with friends. And by the time we met up with the one last friend, it wasn't worth getting the bus because the school was about a 15 minute walk away.
so I'm just so excited by this. So I'm just pull the map up again for you. Look, six minutes from where he was up to here, six minutes. But they had that car for two hours plus on the 19th of February. And I went all along this road. I've gone along this road on Google Maps. Right up to this point here and then down here. And then I was following the road that came down here. So I think that they down to here. So I was covering all that area. I did even skim over these areas, but I'm on YouTube. I'm not going to find a body. They'd already searched this area twice. But like I said, when you zoom in, Um, okay. Is that like a cliff edge thing? You know what I mean? Look how thick it is. It's that thick, you can just about see the hooks that they have. For them to sleep, their little hooks, their sleeping hooks, I should imagine. Right. That's how thick it is all around there. And it's found in an isolated area of. That manic to manic, what's it called? Camp Manito. Because that, I'd say, that building there, I would say, is their main head building where they meet up each morning and whatever. Can you imagine being in these? Places here, and then having to get over there or something. <laughs> no. Nope. Actually, I want to go down here because that looks like a cliff edge, doesn't it? It isn't. No, it isn't. Um, no, it's just it looks like dry land, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the big, yeah. So. But this is sad, so, so sad. I hope it is him in a way. I really do. Because whatever young child has been reported missing in that area and so fucking close to where they lived, or he lived at least, Right, I'm going to go, because I'm just, I need to wind down, I need to wind down so I can get some sleep. Thank you all for like, coming in and for watching tonight.
I don't know what time it is where you wherever you are watching this. But it's now five fourteen here in the UK in Scotland. And I need to get some sleep. But for those coming in, we are talking we have just talked about the remains of skeletal remains of a small child being found here, Camp Manito. Right, and it is six. Right, six minutes. Oh, come back here. Six No. Get rid of all this. Like that. It goes for later. It was six minutes. For some reason, my map's fucked up. That's my problem. But it was six minutes from there to there. Six minutes. And I know they've covered all that area. Yeah. 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 And I bet there's people who've been searching for that little boy are kicking themselves now with guilt, knowing they were searching this area and they never found him. But they can't blame themselves. They tried. They went there twice. Something must have been telling them about that for them to go back a third well I didn't go back a third time apparently it was a deer hunter that come across the skeletal bones right and reported it so so yes well I'm not hoping it's Elijah Vu but I am hoping it's Elijah Vu there's no other little child being reported missing in that area. I've been following this case from day one. I only done I've done a live just the other week on this little boy. An update on this little boy. And I was getting ready to do a live for when the parents went back to court. And I still will be, because now I'll be following them for the court for the murder, unaliving of this little boy. If it is found to be Elijah, which I truly think it is, but it has not been confirmed. It has not been confirmed as Elijah. And. I'm wondering what else was found. Was, was there any clothing there? Because I said in my last video, I don't think he was dressed when they got when he went missing. When they did what they did, I think he just had an overfull nappy on when they got rid of his body. I don't think he was dressed. But that little boy suffered so much in eight days at that guy's house. And all along the live of the, yeah, you do what you need to do, make him be a man. And now she was given permission to have um, supervised visits with her daughter, the daughter who she's already got uh, charges on for child neglect. They've given her permission to have, I think, you know, cut that off now. Cut it off. If this is Elijah Vu, cut everything off for that bitch. Sorry, this video probably won't even get put out. So please share this video. Share it on Twitter. Share it on YouTube if you're watching on Replay. Share it, share it, share it. Because I don't think YouTube will push it out for me because I'm so mad. So please share it so this video can get out there. So 
So that's where he was found in this area around here. Somewhere. Okay. Somewhere around here. Alright. And this is where he was last seen. Around here. Because remember, if you watch or any of my videos on this, I went all along this river and I was saying about the sandbanks, how the body will get caught up in the sandbanks and things like that. And down here, how there's a like a mooring area, a boat area for boats. So I knew he hadn't gone in the river. Too many obstacles. That poor little young boy. So please subscribe because I will be going live again on this once we get more information. It is now five twenty one. And I've got a wind down. Five twenty one AM I've got a wind down. The sun will be coming up soon. I'll be going to bed as everyone else is getting up. If I do, I'll only go to bed for a couple of hours. My cats are sitting there giving me these filthy looks like I say, why aren't you in bed? <laughs> but, yeah, we are talking about the remains found in a Girl Scout camp. Six minutes drive away from where he was last seen. Six minutes. Hey, this much they did a good job hiding him, didn't they? Because it took him over six months, and then it was only. But people have said, like, people have been saying, like, on another case that I'm following. If the bodies are anywhere in an area where there's hunting, with, with the hunting season coming, with deer hunting or whatever, if a body is in an area like that, they will get found. They will get found. Right. So, anyway, I'd just like to say thank you all for being here. Please share this video, share it across X, share it on YouTube. Share it, share it, share it, because, you know what I've done? I don't give a shit no more. This video's not going to be pushed out. So please share it. I really do appreciate you all for coming in and watching this with me. And I'll be back next, and I'll see you next time. Just put it that way. Take care. And if you've got little ones, give them a hug. Let them know they are loved. Just give them a hug. Till, till next time.